Hey, what's up everybody? It is me, King Alpha. Hope everybody's been doing great. Um, I know I sadly have not been putting up any videos, um, either it being Rise of Kingdoms or Call of Duty or basically any other game. Um, sadly, I've just, I my schedule at work has been very crazy. It's been up and down. Um, and for example, right now they have me 11 to 8. So it's like I literally wake up get ready go to work get home eat take a shower and sleep so it's it's been really crazy i have not been able to be like on this game at all um but i figured why not talk a little bit about some of the things that uh like my plans for rise of kingdoms and what's gonna just be the main goal of everything right now especially with last kingdom basically about to be done um as you can see, we did lose, basically. Um, there's a lot of backstory to that, and I will probably make a separate video for that. Um, I don't want to talk specifically just for this video about um, the system and everything. I just want to summarize how I feel about KVK and all that stuff. So, um, in the achievements, I, ha I did achieve, uh, let's see, right about here... I should have been able to achieve this achievement, but I was not always on during those times. So I really did miss out on, you know, mainly the reserves and, and some of the speed ups and stuff. Like, I really wanted the reserves and stuff. But um, the main thing was actually getting the, bar the barbarians, the participating in that, and the honor. So I was able to get 155k honor this go around in KVK. Um, now when it comes to actual like kvk the system how it works uh there's certain things i don't like about it main thing oh and i didn't even say i'm sorry the reason why i'm not using a camera is because of the fact that uh my camera is still messing up with the whole chromecast or chrome cam thing to you know have the background green screen type thing so yeah i'm sorry about that so i know you don't see me talking um but things i don't like about this and it, I think one of my big things is this. This whole earned ultimate victory in light versus darkness, right? Um, yeah, it's 10 gold sculptures, you know, loads of rewards, right? But, for example, in Past Glory, the Past Glory, the, st the five stages that basically seem like the ultimate way of winning things... Um, you know, if you don't, I don't like watching other YouTube. I mean, I just don't watch other YouTubers at all. Um, but I didn't know whether it like the stages count for the ultimate victory versus light and darkness, or if it was um this bit over here with the numbers of destroying camps and everything. Now, I know that's that's part of the achievements and the like the big thing, like destroy the camps and all that stuff, but. One of my things that I don't like about it is the fact that in the past glory, there's five stages and the light side, my our side, won three out of the two stages, uh, out of the five stages. And technically that is supposed to be a victory. So I don't know why there isn't achievement, at least just an achievement just for that, for the fact of, you know, the light side winning the stages for example the past glory stages like why isn't there an achievement for that um but when you come over here there's like literally i i don't know if if i maybe i'm wrong and i'm making the video like just too early or something and maybe um but yeah it, this I, this is not for sure this is for a fact that you need to win the light versus darkness and it's stupid because of the fact that they they don't say you know unless i don't read over here which i i don't want to read all this you know i guess i could have read all this but like what is the point of the past glory other than you know trying to push honor which honor is this is crazy um you know i like i don't even understand how someone even gets a million points if unless they've spent loads of money on action potions and all that stuff and then and are able to actually be on the game 24 7 um but yeah like what was the point of these past glory events you know making it, like it was just the way of lilith making stupid money 
because people like when I tell you the people were like spamming oh why is this kingdom not pushing a training event why is this kingdom not pushing um and barb forts why is this kingdom da -da -da? it was like bull crap all of that was bull crap for the fact of like just rewards just giving you guys rewards and it was like it was it was just so pointless you might as well have just literally gotten your rewards gotten your honor and then that's it for the for kvk because if you think about it anyone anyone and i mean someone that does that didn't even fight all kvk could have just gotten 155k honor and just made sure they did all these little individual challenges and everything and gotten really decent rewards right what was the point of like each kingdom pushing in these past glory events if they weren't going to give us like a huge bonus for for fighting or some type of reward for winning these stages when there was five stages like yeah it gave you something to look forward to it gave you some decent rewards and everything like you know individual awards and stuff but i just feel like there should have been something with that like with that whole past glory thing um nonetheless i hated this format um i was really looking towards more fighting but then right before pre like in during pv pre kvk i was hearing a lot to the fact that you don't fight until basically the end and the ruin fights are kind of stupid it, you know because obviously it all depends on numbers if you have the numbers you can win the fights um especially the more t5 you bring the more you'll win the fights and um yeah it's just i don't like the format of kvk like the map itself is actually to me pretty trash and the the only thing they actually needed to fix from the uh past pre vk uh pre kvk format was the fact of um like the the whole am i in the right one i'm not in the right one <laughs> um the one big thing that they needed to change is the fact that you you know you can't get like you can't lock them out of these areas um okay well okay but anyways it, it like you know locking the passes out so basically putting like little um farm accounts and having it just ready like you know you nobody can go inside these passes and everything and you're locked inside the whole entire kvk but at least you're allowed to stay in kvk but it was a format that was stupid because you know people can make seven eight accounts put their little far put their accounts there have shields on them and yeah that's that's basically it um so yeah that's the one big thing i found was really stupid of the past kvks but then this kvk um comes around and this format's just stupid you literally feel i feel like you farm the whole kvk you fight in this area cool you fight in this area cool and then you come over here and you're getting prepared for this pass and you fight for like a day and then everybody gives up like literally it's it's just been that stupid and that bad um but yeah my plans now and i'm gonna tell you guys right now my plans are to focus on the next zenith so the next zenith should be um for like for an infantry skin i'm dying for a legendary infantry skin and i want a legendary infantry skin um the archer skin was legendary for this one um the archer skin was legendary for this one as well so the next skin should be infantry um even this one was cavalry defense this one was like skill point damage or whatever so i'm really going to be saving all of my t5 tech and everything um troop training like look at all these like legendary skins and there's only like two legendary skins of um of i think it's is it this one babylonian and the this one no it's not this one this one so yeah there's only two legendary infantry skins and i'm dying for another legendary infantry skin and i want a legendary infantry skin so what i'm going to be doing guys is i'm basically going to be saving up and hoarding up all my speed ups um for to to just do all the t5s that i can so i'm saving um these techs these techs uh these two techs i'm not going to be speeding this up at all so you're going to be seeing this slowly go down as I will not be using any speed ups to do this. 
Um, by next KVK, I will if it's an infantry skin, I will make sure I have the elite throwing axeman, the royal crossbowman, the royal knight. But it's going to be a huge push in power that I will be doing. Um, I'm also going to be saving up all my reserves uh, in this area. So all my 20k reserves, 10k, everything, I'm saving up those reserves. Um, speed ups, all the speed ups I'm saving up. Uh, this is literally just slowly saving up. I'm barely doing anything. Um, and yeah, just, just pushing everything. I have like this... the. The scripts over here to actually upgrade my hospitals to 25. I know that's a you know a big thing, and it gives you loads of power. So this is basically I, I have three hospitals that I need to do. That's about 900k power right there by itself, and then additionally with all the um, the technology power that I will gain and the uh, the like the T5 infantry, um, me spamming the 20k reserves on the T5 infantry. Hoping that I at least have uh, at least two infantry pairs that can have um, T5. Now, the another big thing right here is the fact that Leonidas is about to be expertise. He is 18 sculptures away. Uh, we have Arc on Sunday, so I'm hoping that we do win and we can get 10 sculptures, and then I will only be eight sculptures away, um, which actually. By then, I will only be four sculptures away because I get two sculptures a day. So, yeah, Leonidas is coming up. I'm going to be doing big reviews on him. Um, you know, how do I like him? Is he great for field? Is he great? <laughs> Not great for defense. Um, but I will say Leonidas is... People say he's not worth it. But when I tell you, he is truly fun. You don't really, like... He's not one of just of those OP commanders. He's one of those commanders you have to use correctly. You have to use with the right people, with the right skill trees. Um, you know, primary or secondary, you need to use him correctly. So I do love Leonidas. I do not regret my choice at all. But I will thankfully say this as my choice after Leonidas. Um, and people will probably go crazy. They're going to be like, what are you doing? I'm not going to be expertising Constantine, who, who is 5511 already, and <laughs> crazy enough, I will not be expertising Guan Yu. Now, people could say, you're stupid, Alpha, why are you not going to expertise Guan Yu? Well, I have loads of sculptures I need to invest into this guy. I need like 400 and something, or whatever it is. It's a huge amount. Um, But... I want to wait for the next infantry heroes. I feel by the time the next infantry heroes come, um, whether it's on the wheel, whether it's on the... Well, it's going to be obviously an infantry commander on the wheel, and then it's also going to be an infantry commander and mighty governor. I want to save for that. I want to save all my sculptures in order to expertise the next two infantry commanders. And I don't know what they are. I don't know whether they're going to be like, for example, Achilles or someone... Um, I would love Achilles or like, uh, what's his name? Like Ragnar Lothbrok or, or Bjorn Ironside. Someone like of, hopefully that will bring a civilization or something. But I want to wait for them. I was able to save up loads of, of sculptures for like two months just for Leonidas. And I was, I was able to expertise him with, in basically a month and a half. Um, and that's what I want to do. I want to be able that the next time a these infantry commanders come, I'm prepared for them. I'm saving up all my gems, literally all my gems. Every gem I get, um, as you can see, I'm like broke right now. Um, every gem I get, I want to save for the wheel. I want to save for the wheel of fortune every single time. Be able to spend an expertise, um, just using my gems and just just literally expertising the next infantry commander no regardless of what they are like even if they're not that good i want to do that and then i will focus on guan yu and constantine because we already have others that do that but i want to be able to be one of the first people that can be like you know what guys i'm going for uh this person mighty governor and i'm gonna be expertising this guy so you know i want to i need to get like number one or something in mighty governor so that i can actually expertise this guy because if you think about it you get number one in even one mighty governor. It's 180 sculptures. 
that's decent. That's really decent. 690 minus 180, you got 510. Then if you say 510, you already would have expertise him. If you go for him again and win either top three, you're still getting loads of sculptures that you know you would at least expertise the commander really fast because i would assume in two months time uh or two and a half months they will release another uh infantry commander so i'm assuming the next commanders might be like leadership or something um maybe even counters to like attila cicada and all that stuff but we will have to see but that's just like my announcement is the big fact that I am going to save. I'm it's it sucks. It really does suck cuz there's going to be like limited content in a way. Um but yeah, like the I just feel like it's worth hoarding. It's worth waiting. I've realized a lot in this game as someone that doesn't spend thousands, doesn't spend hundreds a day, um if you hoard and you wait for your right moment in this game to go all out, push T5, push commanders, I've realized it's actually better to have expertise commanders and at least have max tech than this. So why not wait for two new infantry commanders to come out, have the max tech, have the new T5, and just be a dominant force in the field? So it's gonna this next time is just gonna be hoarding and hoarding and hoarding like crazy, doing all the events, um, and then just trying my best to give you guys the best content for Rise of Kingdoms um, that I can give as a player like myself. Um, but there's also other videos that are gonna be coming out that I have planned. Um, but just if you guys don't mind giving me some time to really figure out my schedule at work and figure out how I will. Um, produce content for you guys hope everybody's been safe and i hope to see you guys in another video have a great day deuces my world's so bright it's hard to breathe but that's all right Hush.